A Bemidji man who pled guilty to killing his girlfriend and then sexually assaulting and kidnapping a child has been sentenced to 52 years in prison. Reporter Mal Meyer was in the courtroom and, and was there as the judge handed down the sentence and now joins us live here in the studio. Mal? Thanks, Josh. Family members of the young girl wiped away tears, at one point hugging each other as the case drew to a close. Just over a year after the crimes occurred, family members in law enforcement listened as an advocate read a statement from the child. She was just very clear. I hate you and I don't want you to play with me. Another statement read during the hearing from the girl's great aunt read in part, the strength that radiates from her is unbelievable. She's our hero. He may have cracked all of us, but he didn't break any of us especially her. Kin's attorneys told the court earlier this month that they would be accepting a plea deal after he was charged with second degree murder. The reason this case resolved is that Mr. Kin wanted to take responsibility for his actions and resolve the case. Kin described in detail how in June of 2016, he and his girlfriend Melissa Norby had plotted to kidnap and sexually assault the child. He went to Norby's place where he killed her while having sex. Kin returned to Norby's home to set it on fire. He then took the child to his cabin in Ten Strike where he assaulted her. The next day he moved the child to a camper in Effie where law enforcement later found her. Before the judge upheld terms of the plea agreement, she said it wouldn't heal the hurt, the horror, and the loss of the family. Every time we've been in court, we thought it would be the hardest day. Today really was the hardest. A statement from County Attorney Annie Klaus and Hughesby reads, We are pleased to have brought Kin to justice for his violent and senseless crimes. The family took one last look back to thank the community before they could continue to move forward. We as a family just wanted to thank all of the news and the public for going out of their way and putting out there for people to help find her and everything, and we are grateful. Upon his release from prison, Kin will be under a conditional release for 10 years and will have to reapply as a sex offender. Josh. Thank you very much, Mal, for that live report. Kin will be given just over a year of credit for his time already served in jail. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.